Hi all, today we are going to discuss about effect of earth on capacitance of the transmission line. So, this is generally solved using the method of images. So, method of images are used for solving these type of problems easily. So, before going to this, let us see the background that is required. So, here I am writing on a glass screen, so handwriting does not come properly. So, I am providing the complete handwritten material in the description of this video. You can please download the material from there. Here you try to understand the concepts what I am teaching here. Remaining material you can please refer from there. So, we have seen till now that if I am taking a charge of plus Q, the flux lines will radiate out from this radially outwards like this. And if you calculate the electric field at a particular point, that means it only depends on the radius or we have seen there that the equipotential surfaces will be formal like this or at any particular point, the electric field lines that pass are always the radially outward direction. This is the case for the isolated charge, isolated charge. So, this is what we have seen already. So, let us now see the case of if, let us take for example, I am taking a metal so, I am taking a metal. So, whenever any metal is kept in the vicinity of the electric field, we have also seen that electrical boundary conditions. So, we have seen in lecture number 37 of EMFT. So, there we have seen that whenever the electric field is passing like this, always the electric field enters and leaves at normal to the surface of the conductor or normal to the surface of this metal and inside the metal the electric field intensity will be equal to 0. This is also we have seen in lecture number 37. We call it as the equipotential surface and always the flux lines will be normal to this and inside flux lines will be equal to 0. So, same thing will be the case of the earth because whatever the flux lines are coming out from the conductor, when the flux lines enters the earth, because earth can be taken as a very good conductor or it can be taken as equipotential surface where the flux lines will enter normal to the surface of the earth or otherwise we can tell that if you are taking some conductor, if you are providing the earth, it is observed that whatever the flux lines that radiate out from this conductor, they radiate out from the conductor in such a way that when they pass here, they have to pass only normal to the surface of the earth. So, whichever the direction they are coming, they will pass only in normal to the surface of the earth. This is what is obtained. Let us take for example, this is charge Q. So, this can be visualized in a different way. Let us assume I am taking one charge plus Q and it is also observed if you keep the charge minus Q, the flux lines will come out like this and end at the second one. So, they will end at like this. And if you calculate the potential, so generally in between these two conductors, that means between these two charges, here the potential will be equal to 0 or the potential is equal to 0 or the neutral plane will be in between them. And the second one on the neutral plane, it is observed practically that the flux lines are coming normal to that point. Or we can tell that the effect of earth can be analyzed like this, wherever is the potential neutral plane is there, that plane can be assumed as the earth. So, how this is coming? By taking one charge on the top and taking another equal and opposite charge on the bottom side having the same distance from the ground. Let us take for example, this is having a distance of h. So, at a distance of h from this, we can take a negative charge and then draw the flux lines and in the center, we can take it as the earth. That can be implied for representing the effect of the earth. So, the method that is used, so this is called as the method of images the method of images. So, method of images is useful how the flux lines originated from a particular charge will terminate on the earth or how it is going to affect the capacitance of it. Let us take for example, I am taking this as the earth or this I am taking as zero potential plane. So, which I am taking as ground because our ground is there. So, from this the flux lines will radiate every side. So, the flux lines will radiate like this, but whichever flux lines comes here, so they will come in the, they will enter the earth in the normal direction only to the earth. So, like this they will enter, all will enter in the normal direction, getting it? So, what we do, we take the height h, so we assume that there is one more charge here, so that the analysis will be easy, which is having the same charge if plus q is there here, minus q will be there here, so this is called as the image charge image charge. Just by checking the image charge if you are calculating, then in that way we can easily calculate the effect of earth on the capacitance. So, in order to further analyze this, let us take the single phase capacitor line or single phase transmission line. So, I am calculating the capacitance of single phase line.
by considering the effect of earth. So for that, let us assume the transmission line is having two conductors. One conductor is A, another conductor is B. Let us assume it is carrying a charge of plus Q because this will be written conductor, it will be minus Q and the distance of separation between them I am taking as D. This is my real charge. Let us assume this is my earth. So the earth is here. So what we can do as per the method of images, I can assume that there is opposite charge that is lying below. So I am taking two charges here. So these two charges because this charge will be opposite to this one and I can take this as A dash. This charge will be opposite to the charge that is above. This is minus Q. Similarly, this will be B dash conductor because charge is minus Q above. Here it will be plus Q. These are the image charges. That means these are image charge. So again the height also we will assume that the height is equal to same. Here height is equal to H. So as per method of images, we have to take this height as H or this I can calculate, this will be equal to square root of 4h square plus d square. This is the distance from conductor A dash to B or conductor B dash to A. So, let us try to calculate the voltage. So, VAB will be equal to 1 by 2 pi epsilon naught into, how to calculate this? Take any charge. So, QA I have taken ln of, what is the distance of this charge? with respect to the point B because I want to calculate from A to B. So, distance of that point with respect to B will be equal to DAB and distance of that point with respect to conductor A. So, this we will take as a radius R only. So, actually this is DAB minus R because DAB is very large so compared to the radius. So, I am approximating it as DAB. Please consider this one. It is not going to affect your result. Same thing is the case QB into what is the distance of conductor B with respect to B? It is radius R distance of conductor B with respect to A that is dBA. So, similar is the case QA dash ln of distance of A dash conductor with respect to B this will be dA dash B divided by distance of A dash conductor with respect to A. Similarly, QB dash into ln of what is the distance of B dash with respect to B divided by distance of B dash with respect to A. This is what we have to substitute. So, I am just substituting that I am calculating here. VAB will be equal to 1 by 2 pi epsilon naught into Q into ln of D by R plus the second charge is minus Q. So, this will be ln of R divided by D plus the image charge because A dash is equal to minus Q. This will be ln of square root of 4H square plus D square divided by 2H the distance I have written here, then plus Q into ln of 2H divided by square root of 4H square plus D square. This is what we get. So, this I can further simplify. This will become equal to 1 by 2 pi epsilon naught into 2Q ln of D by R into 2H divided by square root of 4H square plus D square. So, wherever Q is there here and here, I have combined them together. Okay, this is the one and similar is the case, this is minus Q. Minus Q means this minus I can take inside. So, this will become D divided by R. They will interchange. Same thing is minus if you take inside, this will interchange. So, this will become plus Q into this one. So, that is why R by D also, D by R is repeating two times and 2H by square root of 4H square minus D square repeating two times. So, that is why I have written 2Q. I think it is clear up to now. So, this I can write as Q by pi epsilon naught into ln of d divided by r into square root of 1 plus d by 2h whole square. I can further simplify it like this. So, this is my value of VAB. So, from this I can calculate my capacitance CAB. So, CAB will be equal to pi epsilon naught by ln of d divided by r into square root of 1 plus d square by 4h square this one is the value. So, this will be in farads per meter. This will be remember line to line value because we are calculating between A and B. If you want to calculate per capacitance between the phase and the neutral point, so which I am representing by Cn, Cn will be because this is just equivalent to two capacitors connected in series. One capacitor between the conductor and the earth, another capacitance between the earth and your negative conductor. So, total two capacitors are there. So, it will become if you want to calculate to the neutral, so this will become 2 pi epsilon naught into ln of d divided by r into square root of 1 plus d square by h square.
Okay, this is what is that? This is in farads per meter. This is to neutral. So let me try to draw this. It is like this. So this is Cn and this is Cn. So total value will be equal to CAB. So if you are taking Cn, Cn as same, so CAB is equal to Cn divided by 2. Or otherwise we can tell Cn is equal to 2 times of CAB. That's why I have multiplied with 2. Please don't confuse here. So now this is my final equation. The effect of earth is considered here. So you can see here in the normal case we have derived it as a d by r but here one extra term is coming square root of 1 plus d square by h square. So this is what is the extra term that is coming r is multiplied with this term. So practically what happens the value of the height is far far greater than the distance of separation between the conductors. So in that case I can take 1 plus d square by h square this I can approximate as 1 because the value of h is far far greater than d. So automatically this cn will become equal to 2 pi epsilon naught divided by ln of d by r farads per meter. So that is why the height of the tower is more then you can neglect it. But if the height of the tower is less then you have to consider this parameter also. You have to multiply r will be modified to r multiplied by square root of 1 plus d square by h square. Getting it? So now let us take the capacitance of three phase line. Capacitance of three phase line. So let us just use the GMR and GMD concept. So let us assume that the conductors are equally spaced. So A, B and let us take it as C. You can randomly take any conductors. So let us assume the earth is here. So image conductors I have to assume below. So I am taking the image conductors. Image conductor will be C dash, B dash and A dash. Let us assume this height is equal to H. Okay, getting it. So now how to calculate this one? Let us try to calculate VAB. VAB will be equal to 1 by 2 pi epsilon naught into QA into LN of. So you have to take the distance between DAB because I have to point from B to A. So this will be DAB by R. Similar is the case QB LN of because B to B distance will be R and B to A distance will be equal to DAB. Plus similar is the case QC LN of the distance between B to C, distance between B to C is DBC, distance between B to C to A, this will be DCA or DAC. Plus, similar is the case for image conductors QA dash into LN of DBA dash to DA A dash. Similar is the case QB dash into LN of DBB dash divided by DAB dash plus QC dash into LN of dbc dash by dac dash. So, this is what is there. So, once this is there I can simplify this one. So, this I am simplifying here. This will become 1 by 2 pi epsilon naught into qa into ln of. So, I am combining the qa term similarly qb term and qc term because this qa dash is nothing but equal to minus qa that minus I can take inside when I take inside this denominator come to numerator numerator come to denominator. So, that is why I am writing here. So, this can be written as DAB multiplied by DAA dash divided by the denominator is all multiplied by DBA dash. Similar is the case QB into ln of R divided by DAB is already there for first one. Now, this QB dash term denominator numerator just exchange and multiply here. This will become DAB dash divided by DCB dash plus similar is the case for QC into ln of R multiplied by DAC dash divided by DAC into DC C dash. So, this is what we obtain. So, this is what we obtain. So, now I am further simplifying this one. So, this is the value we got. Let us take it as equation number 1. So, similarly, I can calculate the value of VAC also. So, VAC will be equal to 1 by 2 pi epsilon naught into QA into ln of DAC DAA dash divided by R into DC. So, I am writing it DCA dash plus QB multiplied by DCB into DAB dash divided by DAB into DCB dash plus QC into ln of. So, ln I am forgetting, right? ln of R into DAC dash divided by, so this will be equal to DAC into DC C dash. Okay, I think the first one I have written something wrong. 
so this will be equal to qb into r into ab dash so this one i am just changing i have written it wrong so this will be equal to dbc dash into dac dash divided by dac into dbc dash dbc dash so please don't confuse here so please change it because i am following the steps i have written it by mistake i have exchanged these two so this will be i am taking as the equation number so from this i can take the sum of vab plus vac we know this sum is equal to three times of van so the reason i have explained in the last class because we are taking this as van this is vbn and this is the value of vcn so i told you the sum this will be equal to vab and this will be equal to vac and the sum of these two this will be equal to vab plus VAC. So, this will be equal to if you calculate, you will get it as 3 times of VAN. Please check it once because we have already discussed in previous class. So, I am skipping for now. So, let us take for example, this distance I am taking as DAB is equal to DBC is equal to DCA is equal to D. They are equally spaced. And similarly, DCC dash is equal to DBB dash is equal to 2H and DCB dash is equal to DBC dash is equal to some g which will be equal to square root of d square plus 4 h square getting it similar is the case d a a dash i am taking it as f and d a c dash is equal to d a b dash is equal to length l so now from this i can calculate my value of v a n is equal to 1 by 6 pi epsilon naught i have to take the sum of those two equations and then substitute these things so when i am substituting those things so you will get it as i am directly writing the answer ln of d square f square divided by r square l square plus qb into ln of r into l square d divided by 2 d square h into g plus qc into ln of r d l square divided by 2 d square h into g this is what we get so we know the value of qb plus qc this will be equal to minus qa because qa plus qb plus qc is equal to 0 you can see here this one is same as this one so we can add them qb plus qc so i am further simplifying this this will be equal to 1 by 6 pi epsilon naught into qa into ln of so if you simplify this it will become d square f square 2d square hg divided by r square l square r square l square this is what we get so this i can write as q a by 2 pi epsilon naught into ln of d by r multiplied by 2 f square g h by l to the power of 4 this whole to the power of 1 by 3 this is what we get or from this i can calculate my value of c a n will be equal to 2 pi epsilon naught divided by ln of d by r into 2 f square g h divided by l to the power of 4 whole to the power of 1 by 3 this will be in parrots per meter per phase value so here what are the values of the these terms f will be equal to d a a dash l will be equal to d a c dash is equal to d a b dash and similar is the case g will be equal to square root of d square plus 4 h square so this way we have to substitute and calculate it here also you can see the effect of earth so extra one more term is adding so this is the term that is adding to this so because of this automatically the value of capacitance is changed that's why we can tell that the effect of earth of the capacitance is here in the case of three phase line also and if the values of this h is so much dominating when compared to other terms then remaining all can be assumed as they are nearly equal to h because f g l all can be taken as equal to h so all will cancel out this term will be equal to only d by r i hope how to calculate the effect of earth on the capacitance what is the method of images is completely clear to you if you still have any queries you can leave your comments in the comment section below i will answer to your queries from there thank you thank you very much